everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be teaching you another tiara twist technique and we will end up attaching this to the tiara blank which I've got right here. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. Um, we will end up attaching this but I kind of just wanted to show you first um, because you don't have to put these on tiaras. You know, I've seen these people put this in bouquets and have it, you know, as decorations hanging off things, you know, ornamental uh so i'm just going to show you the technique itself um i wouldn't attach a standing up on a tiara because i'm going to use some pearls which aren't exactly light i would do it if i was using say my um over here i've got my oh, getting frame uh, i've got some of the glass beads in here um they could probably withstand the height but um standing up probably wouldn't work as well with you know a heavier bead and these are organic matter so they're a little bit heavier well these ones are if you use coral you could probably get away with it uh but yeah so we're just going to i'm just going to show you it because it's easier than explaining it so the length of wire i've taken is 30 we're back over here okay the wires decided that's where its middle point is going to be so we'll go with that and I'm just going to put my finger in here and do the twist. If you don't know Tiara Twist, I have done several videos using it recently. So just go with that. So there's the Tiara Twist. And don't want to overwork the wire. So I'll class the twist as starting there. And I'm going to go for a centimetre, so I'm just going to do two more twists. So yeah, that's about right. And then we're going to attach another bead into the frame. So I'm going to use another pearl here. I'm using these mostly because they just show up better on camera. No other reason than that. Otherwise, I would use the the glass beads. Um, I do have some that would show on camera, but that would involve you know going through my stash and limited energy. So I'm just using what I have to hand because as long as you can see it, that's what's important. So we're going to put the pearl here and then take the wire and twist it as close to it as we can. Okay, and I'm going to do that for another centimetre about pretty much exactly up. And there you have two in a row and we're going to do it again. So say you wanted this as part of a bouquet, you know, standing up you could because it wouldn't need to stand up perfectly you know with the strength like you would prefer on a tiara now this isn't weak by any stretch of the imagination i wouldn't want to do more than three if i wanted to stand this up on a tiara so that's where i would stop if i was just going to attach this to a tiara band and then use the rest um to you know wrap around so let's say we use the, that much to wrap around because it probably is about that amount 15 so 30 centimeters left so we would have took about 30 centimeters which is about right for what i usually use for wrapping around so there if you wanted to just do that but if you want this longer and you want to use it again you want to use it for I keep saying bouquets because obviously i'm thinking like wedding things this is pearls we're using tiaras and you know if you had flowers and you wanted just something to stick up in between or even to wrap around or even just for decoration because i'm going to show you an option in a little bit of how i use them also which i attach them to the tiaras but slightly different and attached to necklaces so if you imagine a necklace so say this is a necklace band and this is exactly what i'm going to be doing in a little bit but on an actual tutorial tutorial but just for now you know it hangs down like a waterfall and if you have them at different lengths across again i'll do it as an actual tutorial so you're not just kind of like guessing what she's on about but yeah that's it basically you just wrap the beads like that i'll do it one more time so that there's no confusion so it doesn't even matter which one you choose to attach it to because once they're twisted like you can't tell which one was the first wire and which one was the second so okay and then again I always try and put the flat side in where the twist is 
that's the only thing I try to do but even then like unless I do it really tight it can still move so it's not really a huge issue and then I twist for roughly a centimetre but again you can do it longer if you want if you want a longer space between you do that and there you have it like that is it that is it it's very simple um, and adds a lot of fun detail and you can use lots of different shapes of beads which is what is going to be on an upcoming tutorial we're going to do basically the same technique but we're not going to be using the pearls we're going to be using a different shape so i'm going to get out is oh you can't see it on camera so i'll just have to bring them over a load of these are technically nuggets, but they're misshapen. Well, not misshapen, they're kind of like water droplets. Let me pull them out when they're on a strand. So if you can see these on the strand, they're um, kind of like droply type things. This is a strand of Labrador, right? But yeah, you get the idea. So they're in drops. Instead of being like nuggets that are completely misshapen and sometimes jagged, they look like this. So I've just got out a handful and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find what I think is the biggest one and I'm going to sort of put them in in some sort of order so uh, we'll go with that one first then that one and I'm going to probably get five so oh this one's even bigger but it's slightly misshapen so eh, well it's still the biggest let's put it at the bottom I want the smallest at the top so that can go there and then let's just have this one in the middle I don't want to have to like measure every single one I'm not that bored okay so there we have it those are our five in a line and we're going to take some wire I'm using 0.4 uh, you can use 0.3 you can use 0.25 I'll put the corresponding American gauges in because I, I won't lie I've completely forgotten them all um, and I'm going to take 40 centimeters just to be extra sure i don't think i'm even going to need 40 centimeters if i'm being perfectly honest but again i work backwards now okay i've got 44 centimeters so we know i've got 44 now so what we're going to do is we're going to go with the very bottom one that's the one we're going to start with the one at the bottom and we're going to thread it on to our wire okay do, 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 do. and we're going to go for the halfway point of said wire so do, 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 and get that at the halfway point just make this slightly out of frame okay and then i'm going to put my finger in here and i'm going to twist 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 and i usually go for about a centimeter doesn't need to be exact but it's up to you so we're going to go for about a centimeter okay and then in the same way we did with this one we're going to attach on another bead the next one in the line which is the second biggest one now this part is not the most important it'll be the next step whereas with this one you don't need to pay attention really to which way you put them on because you can just twist them this one the side they land on does kind of you know make a difference when we twist them later on so if you can see, I'm going to hold this in place here. Okay, and I'm going to hold it straight. And then I'm going to take my finger and twist. And I want to keep it tight here because I don't want it being able to, you know, twist around completely. A little bit of twisting is not too bad, but I don't want it to be able to slip out. Probably on the smaller sizes it will be able to do that, but there's not much I can do about that. And I'm going to go for about a centimetre again. I'm counting it from just above the bead rather than if I went from there a centimetre would probably be about here but I'm going from just above the bead here as the start of my centimetre so exactly now whichever one I decide is the front so this one's wrapping around this one's basically the middle Right, I'm going to put it on this one because this seems to be the front but if it's not I can take it off and try again. Because these beads are smaller just be aware that obviously 
when you're twisting them okay so I'm going to twist this where it is in place again so that this is sat at the front because that's what we want we want it to sit like that in a line now of course they can still move the you know they're not completely set in unless you decide to glue them but it's you know they're as set as they're going to be and then we're going to go for a centimeter again i'm going from just after the top of the bead going for a centimeter okay that's slightly over but it's not hugely an issue and then i'm going back to the front and which one is in the front of the twist this time okay this one is the front of the twist so i'm going to take the next one okay and then so the way this is sitting, it's going, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not sitting the way the other ones have. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get that to sit the right way. So I'm going to take that one off because I want them to fall like teardrops rather than stand up straight. So I'm going to try again with a different shape. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is, it seems it's just one of those point of the angle. So I'm going to make sure this is sat at the front with the other ones, pull that back and I've put it on the separate wire so that it can sit forward, hopefully that's clear on camera, that I've put it through and set it forward and twisted it that way. Um, and then I'm going to take the wire and twist it in place there as much as I can so that they're all still sat forward. Okay. And then I'm going to twist for a centimetre again. Please excuse my breathing if you can hear that on camera. I've got yet another virus, yet another cold flu type thing. Well, not flu, it's not quite flu. Not that bad, but you know, like you breathing and snot and all that joyous stuff. Tell you, since getting flu at Christmas, it's like being back in hit and run. If anyone is well if anyone's had me you know what that is it's where you basically catch anything and everything when you have an autoimmune illness that's not meant to be possible so i'm just reading on the net last bead um, it's not meant to be possible because your real uh your immune system is basically in overdrive uh but obviously getting flu weakened it but it's still set to attack everything so now i've got the joy of being able to catch every last little thing and so I'm just going to twist this a bit so that's at the front like that and then I'm going to hold it and then twist yeah so basically I just keep catching everything despite the fact that I have an autoimmune illness where my immune system's you know, set up to attack anything and everything so now not only is my body attacking itself I also do still keep getting viruses which is just insult to injury as far as I'm concerned um, so there we have it this waterfall-esque look and you can obviously adjust them slightly if you so wish so that they sit you know falling down in that way and then we're going to take our blank this is a tiara blank i'm calling it although i think let's call it a finding a tiara finding rather than a blank a blank's more a term for uh, metal work that's why i'm thinking that um so we still have an excessive amount left of wire so what have we got here yeah I could have got away with just 30 centimeters for this so I'll probably just put 30 centimeters in my recommendation of how much you should use um so yeah, we want to make sure that this is facing the front let's uh make sure you guys can see that on camera and where the end of the twist is that's where I'm gonna start wrapping from and then I'm going to wrap one side one way, one side the other. I don't normally do that, but I just feel like it today. I feel like being a bit extra. So that's what I'm going to do. So there we have it, our waterfall, a 
the front and then you would wear this you know you could have it stood up if you so chose like it will stand up it will bend slightly because it is heavier but to me that lends to the you know if you had this on the outside let's you know put this over here for a moment and it looks like I can't, I can't think of the name but there is a flower that's often included in bouquets that does this and it's like i don't know if it, i don't think it's gypsophilia but it might be and it always like you know leans over and it's kind of like twiggy with a few flowers or petals or something on it um that's what it reminded me of i just can't think of the name sorry brain fog but yeah so you could have it like that or you can know uh, make sure it'll sit a little bit straighter you know sat down against you know without having to fight gravity um and then it would sit in the middle of the forehead and then you would attach other ones like such so let's um go with this one here and attach sorry i didn't even realize we're on camera there one problem with a new setup is you got to get used to being on camera properly again so then you know having the different ones and then you could have it that and then you place it in said person's hair like such and then comes down like this or again you could have it the other way where they stand up like we have done on this tiara where we've got the other ones excuse the um almost destroyed flowers and things when i'm not using jewelry it usually kind of ends up dumped next to me on my bed so i've got to be careful i don't end up destroying things so yeah you could have it stood up it will carry the weight of the lighter stones um and this one it will hold i just wouldn't want to do it for too long i'd probably only do three if i was doing pearls because they are a bit heavier uh yeah so that is it for this tutorial so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh if there's anything you'd like to see tiara wise or wedding wise that i haven't done you know comment down below if you've got anything you want to see please comment down below i'm just trying to you know get my channel to well have better content and newer content and you know just to keep at it as much as i can i hope now that you know i've got this set up where i can do this in my bed i'm going to be able to actually get a little bit more content out but it is going to be easier for the foreseeable and i apologize for that but it's just you know what i'm physically able to do at the moment so i can't you know get to my desk and have the whole setup just because i can't sit up like i could properly for any length of time so doing any long tutorials at the moment isn't possible but what i can do within what i can do i will keep doing for you guys because i love you all and i'm so grateful that you choose to support me and watch my videos um and if you want to support me more you know hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe button and comment in you know those all help if you want to you know recommend me to your friends and things like that you're a jewelry makers please do that's also really helpful if you want to share the video uh, or any of the videos really it doesn't have to just be this one uh yes yeah, so i think that's everything um and again this is just a very simple technique it's nothing you know groundbreaking but it's something that you know a lot of people don't click they're like they figure out tiara twists and then they never realize oh i could put more beads on and you know do something more anyway so i'm gonna go and do some videos using this technique next and uh yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for giving me your time and energy and i hope to see you all again soon i love you all bye